When we plant a young tree in the landscape, our goal is for that young tree to grow large and thrive and to look really good. Well, sometimes when we put those young trees in the ground, they can have problems with the roots. And I've got an example of a root problem right down here. Right here, we've got a girdling tree root. And this is, as you can see, where the root just is growing in that circular fashion around the trunk of the tree and it's causing some problems. Now, it's not a, a great problem right now, but as the trunk of this tree gets larger in diameter and this root, which is also growing, it's getting larger in diameter, it's gonna really exert a lot of pressure on the trunk and it can cause a lot of problems by strangling the tree, restricting its growth, restricting the movement of water and nutrients up into the canopy and the flow of sugars and carbohydrates down to the root. Now, a lot of trees actually die from having girdling roots. Now, sometimes these girdling roots just occur naturally. Instead of radiating out from the trunk, a certain root will just start growing in this circular fashion and can choke the tree. Now, sometimes when we prune away a root, a lateral root may develop and start growing in this way. But generally, this problem is caused because of the way the tree was grown in the nursery. Perhaps when it was younger, it didn't get potted up into a big enough pot in time and was left in a round pot too long and the roots began to develop and sort of follow that circular container around and around and develop that circular pattern. And once those are put in the ground, that circular pattern continues and then we get the girdling root. But we do lose trees to girdling roots in the landscape. Now this one, is easy to see because it's up here on the surface, but sometimes these can occur below ground. And if you look over here at the tree, you can see that it's got this, this nice flare, sort of wider here at the ground. Well, if a tree has a girdling root, you won't get that flare. It'll just be straight down, sort of like a telephone pole stuck in the ground. Other symptoms would include stunted growth, twig dieback, the uh, leaves may turn color earlier in the fall than other trees. They may drop earlier than other trees. So if that's happening to a tree in your yard and you suspect it may have a girdling root below ground, just go in and dig down about six to eight inches and you should be able to see a girdling root if it is there. Well, these need to be cut away. We need to uh, get rid of that constriction and a good way to do it is uh, with just a, a small sledgehammer and a good wood chisel. Good sharp wood chisel is a good idea. And we're just going to cut away through this root here. A little bit larger chisel would be ideal. But this one's sharp enough. It's going to work. We're just about through the root there. Now, if you have a, a really large girdling root around your tree that's maybe four inches in diameter or larger, it'd be a good idea to consult with a tree care professional to make sure that removing a really large girdling root wouldn't cause any structural problems and cause the tree to fall. But this one's still small enough. We can come in with the chisel and the hammer and cut it away and remove it pretty easy. Well, it takes a little work to cut through the root, but uh, once you get both both ends cut away, it's pretty easy. Just pull that out of the out of the way, and you can see the indention there, where it's really starting to put the pressure on that trunk. And again, we don't want these to strangle the tree, so go around your yard and look at your trees, make sure they don't have any of those girdling roots that are beginning to strangle the trunk. Cut those away. Again, if it's four inches or larger in diameter, consult a tree care professional. And if you think your tree may have one of these below ground, again, dig down about six to eight inches and remove those as well. And whenever you plant a young tree, when you pull it out of one of those round containers, make sure that the roots, if they're growing in that circular fashion, that you stretch those out, straighten those out, or prune those away before you put it in the landscape. <music>